Hi guys, this is Tim DeMores speaking from um, Skyrocket, the, the um, strategy consulting channel uh, on Ergos.com. So um, here today I'm going to present the GE McKinsey 9 box matrix, uh, which is a classic strategy framework. Um, so for starters, let me give you a bit of background and, on the, the theory that you see on the right here. So um, it was believed to be created by McKinsey and Company, the famous um, consulting firm, in the um, 70s, early 70s, just after the uh, Boston Consulting Group BCG matrix, which uh, some of you might already know. Um, the framework was originally developed for General, General Electric, GE, initially to identify and retain key talents. Um, I have another template on this called uh, the, the Performance uh, Management Matrix, so which you can also find on my channel. Um, this specific template, which I've built here, uh, can be used to evaluate business units or products to optimize investments for a specific company or a portfolio which you have. Um, it has two main axes. On uh, the bottom uh, hand here, you have competitive strength of the business unit. And on the y-axis, the industry attractiveness uh, with three levels each time, high, medium, low. Uh, this creates a nine box matrix on which um, analysts, for example, can position various business units or products. Um, the outputs fall into three main categories of action. Um, category one, uh, which are the top ones, so protect position, investor build, build selectively. Category two, um, build selectively, selectively manage for earnings, protect position and refocus. And then category three, expand or harvest, divest, manage for earnings. So what I did here in this template is um, so map the theory on the right and on the left build a customizable way for you to plot business units, products or services on that G McKinsey nine box matrix. Uh, so let me show you how it works. So we have to right click on the graph, click on edit data in Excel that will open the graph for us. Here we are. Um, and we now have uh, the uh, table visible where you can uh, define what you uh, think competitive strength of business unit is an industry attractive uh, according to um, some main factors which you can define. So uh, typically for the competitive strength of business unit, it could be uh, the, uh, the barriers to entry that you have, the size of turnover, uh, key talents, things like that. Um, industry attractiveness could be the growth uh, of the industry, the technology level, uh, risk factors, things like that. So you could then weigh them um, smartly. And the next step will be for you to uh, put a score from zero to one on each of these uh, factors, uh, which will then enable you to calculate the main score for both axes for each business unit product or services, depending on how you're doing this. Once that's done, go back to the PowerPoint, which we can see here, and magically all the um, business units, products and services are mapped correctly in the matrix. And from there, you can take the various different decisions uh, on your um, portfolio, uh, business units or products. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So if you guys have any questions on uh, this best practice, um, you can private message me on opens.com and I'd be happy to help you out. Cheers guys. Bye-bye.